Hi students, welcome to my channel Economic Lectures. In this video, we will be discussing about permanent income hypothesis. As you might be, uh, you might be knowing, in previous videos we have discussed about absolute income hypothesis, the next one relative income hypothesis and the third one life cycle hypothesis. And when it comes to consumption, in this video we are discussing the fourth important uh, topic related to consumption that is permanent income hypothesis. So let's go into the theory, go into the hypothesis and let's look what it says. The theory of permanent income hypothesis was put forward by Nobel Prize winning economist Milton Friedman in 1957. Uh, it was put forward by Milton Friedman in 1957. According to Friedman, Consumption depends neither on absolute income nor on relative income, but on permanent income, that is, based on expected future income. So, what does Friedman say? In that Friedman, consumption or all the ubabogam, it depends on not on absolute income uh, nor on relative income. That is the absolute income hypothesis. Relative income hypothesis and the theory galda adistana tilella consumption nadakana de but consumption depends on permanent income. So what does permanent income mean? That is based on expected future income. Bavil yatratolam income ilabikan and de. What is the expected income that an individual gets in the future? So his consumption depends on permanent income and not on absolute or relative income. So, uh, by this point, we feel that there is a relation between Milton Friedman's permanent income hypothesis and Modigliani's life cycle hypothesis. Because both the hypotheses argue that consumption should not depend on current income alone. In the theory, the hypothesis current income umai bandha pattadu matramella consumption. Consumption is not only dependent on current income but also future income but there is a difference between life cycle hypothesis and permanent income hypothesis what is that but there is a difference of insight between the two hypotheses while the lch that is life cycle hypothesis emphasizes that income flows a regular pattern over a person's lifetime what does lch chase life cycle hypothesis income varumanam ennathu the Jeevitham Thudangana Thu Mulal Avasanikana Thu Vareo Smooth Aya Pattern Il Pogana Thaan Mumbatha Video Gal Edith Parishodhi Chal You might know about that uh, In the Life Cycle Hypothesis Graph uh, We saw that the income increases in a smooth manner But when it comes to PIH That is Permanent Income Hypothesis Emphasizes that people experience random and temporary changes in their income from year to year. So there is a change in income. Uh, there is a change in their income. Uh, temporary changes but random too in from year to year. So varsha varsha maurada varumanathil janangalda varumanathil andu sambhoikum. Maatengal ette kurachilagal sambhoikum. According to Friedman. The total measured income, that is income actually received of an individual, has two components. So the income of an individual, we denote it as YM, that is income actually received by an individual has two components. What are they? That is the income that an individual receives can be divided into two parts. The first one is permanent income, that is YP. The second one is transitory income, that is YT. So, we can uh, give the equation as YM is equal to YP plus YT. So, what does this permanent income and uh, transitory income mean? Permanent income is that part of income which people expect to earn over their working life. Adhwanikunna kala tholam yatrayana nyayinikku endu varumana adhwanichu undakan varumana undakan saadhyade ulladhi chance ulladhi. That is what we call permanent income. That uh, what does the people expect to earn in their life, uh, in their working life? That is what we call as permanent income. So, what does transitory income mean? It is that part of income which people do not expect it to persist. Nila nilkum en urapillata undineyane uru varumanateyane transitory income. For example, 
some sort of bonus or something that you get uh, in a particular year and in the next coming year you will not be earning that bonus okay some sort of gifts some donations that you get that we term it as transitory income ningalku pettana or lottery adikkugayo pettana or gift labikkugayo korcha amount sammana mai labikkugayo okke cheynadanu and transitory income and that will not persist adayathu adu nila nilkilla adutha varsham adutha or divasam adu undaikollanam ennilla in other words while permanent income is average income പെർമനൻറ്റ് ഇൻകം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആവറേജ് ഇൻകം അതായത് വർക്കിംഗ് ലൈഫിൽ ആവറേജായിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ലഭിക്കാൻ സാധ്യതയുള്ളതാണ് എന്ത് പെർമനൻറ്റ് ഇൻകം ട്രാൻസിറ്ററി ഇൻകം ഇസ് ദ റാൻഡം ഡീവിയേഷൻ ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് ആവറേജ് അപ്പോൾ ഈ ഒരു ആവറേജിൽ നിന്ന് വരുന്ന ഡീവിയേഷൻ സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ട്രാൻസിറ്ററി ഇൻകം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഡീവിയേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഒക്കേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം ദ ആവറേജ് ഇൻകം ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് വി കോൾ ട്രാൻസിറ്ററി ഇൻകം അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ഫ്രീഡ് മാൻ consumption depends primarily on permanent income what does friedman says consumption depends on permanent income because consumers use saving and borrowing to smooth consumption in response to transitory changes in income endu kondana milton friedman angana parnade that is what milton friedman said is that consumption depends primarily on permanent income what is the reason behind that because when you have transitory changes in income Uh, in order to reach to the average adayid transitory aaya endengil oru maatam undavugiyanengil average like etta ningal endanu cheyga for example transitory changes ennu parayumbo adil negative um positive um undagam when we say transitory changes the, it might be in the negative sense or the positive sense sometimes you might get uh, less of your income sometimes you might get more of your income so when there is a transitory change in your income either you will go to the average by saving or you will get to the average by borrowing so consumption depends primarily on your permanent income the reason is that consumers spend their permanent income but they rather save rather than spend most of their transitory income so when you have a tr- positive transitory income uh, you will not be spending but you will be saving that part of income similarly he distinguishes between permanent consumption and transaction transitory consumption as he has divided between permanent income and transitory income he also distinguishes between permanent consumption and transitory consumption permanent consumption ayum transitory consumption ayum uh, friedman and the chain divide in so what is transitory consumption may be regarded as the unanticipated spending അപ്രതീക്ഷിതമായി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വരുന്ന ഏതെങ്കിലും തരത്തിലുള്ള ചിലവുകൾ അതിനെയാണ് എന്ത് പറയുന്നത് ട്രാൻസിറ്ററി കൺസംഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പെട്ടെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് രോഗമുണ്ടായി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വലിയൊരു എമൗണ്ട് ചിലവഴിക്കേണ്ടി വന്നാൽ സഡൻലി യു ആർ സിക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു നീഡ് ബിഗ് എമൗണ്ട് ഫോർ യുവർ ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ദൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ട്രാൻസിറ്ററി കൺസംഷൻ ദിസ് മെഷേർഡ് കൺസംഷൻ ഈസ് എ സം ഓഫ് പെർമനൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ട്രാൻസിറ്ററി കോമ്പനൻസ് ഓഫ് കൺസംഷൻ സോ വാട്ട് ഡസ് ഹി കം ഹി കംസ് ടു ദ പോയിൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് this the consumption overall has two parts permanent and transitory consumption and the equation can be given as c is equal to cp that is permanent consumption plus ct that is transitory consumption friedman's basic argument is that permanent consumption depends on permanent income what as friedman says is that permanent consumption depends on permanent income your per- consumption that is your permanent consumption is dependent on permanent income and the other one that is transitory in a uh, transitory consumption is never dependent on transitory income that too you should remember only permanent consumption depends on permanent income permanent consumption mathramana ende permanent income umai bandapettittullathu nere marichu ട്രാൻസിറ്ററി കൺസംഷനും ട്രാൻസിറ്ററി ഇൻകമും തമ്മിൽ യാതൊരു തരത്തിലുള്ള ബന്ധവുമില്ല ദ ബേസിക് റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ഓഫ് പെർമനൻറ്റ് ഇൻകം ഹൈപ്പോത്തസിസ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് പെർമനൻറ്റ് കൺസംഷൻ ഇസ് പ്രൊപ്പോഷണൽ ടു പെർമനൻറ്റ് ഇൻകം നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞത് തന്നെയാണ് പെർമനൻറ്റ് കൺസംഷൻ ഇസ് പ്രൊപ്പോഷണൽ ടു പെർമനൻറ്റ് ഇൻകം ദാറ്റ് എക്സിബിസ്റ്റ് എ ഫെയർലി കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് എ പി സി സോ ഇറ്റ് വാട്ട് വാട്ട് ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് റിസൾട്ട്സ് ഇൻ ദ എ പി സി ആവറേജ് പ്രൊപ്പൻസിറ്റി ടു കൺസ്യൂം വിൽ ബി constant what uh, what did keynes say keynes endana paranjathu average propensity to consume is decreasing endana keynes paranjathu but here it remains what constant 
that is c is equal to k y p alengil namukku equation engane kodukkam c consumption is equal to k y p what is k k is constant a constant a p c o m p c o aga average propensity to consume or m p c marginal propensity to consume the k constant can be a p c or m p c and y p we know that it's permanent uh, it's permanent income so consumption is dependent on uh, a particular and uh, a fixed part of what a p c oh, sorry a fixed part of permanent income and k denotes the constant while reaching the above conclusion friedman assumes that there is no correlation between y p y t friedman has some sort of assumptions and uh, that is that there is no correlation between y p and y t so what is y p y t permanent income and transitory income there is no such any such relation between them also between y t and c t so what is y t uh, transitory uh, transitory uh, income and transitory consumption so there is no relation that we said in the just two be points before we said the same one there is no relationship between transitory income and transitory consumption and also between cp and ct permanent consumption and transitory consumption there is no relation between permanent consumption and transitory consumption the hypothesis implies that changes in consumption behavior are not predictable because they are based on individual expectation so what does uh, friedman comes to the point finally comes to the point changes in consumption behavior are not predictable we cannot predict that is we cannot predict the future pattern of consumption of an individual namak endu kondu predict cheyan kaiyilla what friedman says is that namak adu oru vyaktiyude consumption pattern predict cheyan kaiyilla ya adayade baavil endengil oru maatram undagumo will there be a future change in a consumption cannot be predicted this has broad implication concerning economic policy endu kondana adu predict cheyan kaiyatha why we can't predict because everything is based on individual ex- uh, expectation if an individual expect that his average income will be increasing in the future he will change his uh, consumption behavior in that sense but if an individual expect that his average income will be decreasing in the future he will change his consumption in that sense baavil varumanam kurayum ennu oral expect cheyanengil അയാളുടെ കൺസപ്ഷൻ അതിനനുസരിച്ച് മാറും ഭാവിയിൽ വരുമാനം കൂടുമെന്ന് ഒരാൾ എക്സ്പെക്ട് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അയാളുടെ കൺസംഷൻ അതിനനുസരിച്ച് മാറും ദിസ് ഹാസ് എ ബ്രോഡ് ഇംപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ കൺസേണിങ് എക്കണോമിക് പോളിസി ഒരു എക്കണോമിക് പോളിസിയുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ വിശാലമായ ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഇതിലടങ്ങിയിട്ടുണ്ട് വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് അണ്ടർ ദിസ് തിയറി ഈവൺ ഇഫ് എക്കണോമിക് പോളിസീസ് ആർ സക്സസ്ഫുൾ ഇൻ ഇൻക്രീസിംഗ് ഇൻകം ഇൻ ദ കൺട്രി ദ പോളിസീസ് മെ നോട്ട് കിക്ക് ഓഫ് എ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയർ എഫക്ട് in regards to increased consumer spending for example if an economy brings uh, some sort of economic policy is to increase the income in the economy even though the income increases it might not be resulting in multiplier or accelerator uh, accelerator effect the reason being that in regards to increased consumer spending when there is a multiplier effect occur when the consumer increases his spending പക്ഷേ ഒരു കൺസ്യൂമർ അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ സ്പെൻഡിങ് കൺസംഷൻ വർദ്ധിപ്പിച്ചാൽ മാത്രമാണ് ദർ ഒക്കേസ് എ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയർ എഫക്റ്റ് ബട്ട് വെൻ ഇറ്റ് കംസ് ടു പെർമനൻറ്റ് ഇൻകം ഹൈ പോത്തസീസ് ഈവൺ തോ ദ ഇൻകം ഓഫ് എ കൺട്രി ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഒരു രാജ്യത്തിൻ്റെ വരുമാനം വർദ്ധിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിലും വെൻ ദ കൺസ്യൂമർ ഡസ് ഇൻ ചേഞ്ച് ഇസ് എക്സ്പെക്ടേഷൻ ഒരു കൺസ്യൂമർ അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ എക്സ്പെക്ടേഷനിൽ മാറ്റമൊന്നും ഉണ്ടാക്കിയിട്ടില്ല എങ്കിൽ ഈവൺ തോ ദ ഇൻകം ഹാസ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ നോട്ട് റിസൾട്ട് ഇൻ എ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയർ എഫക്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ rather the theory predicts that there will not be an uptick in consumer spending until workers reform expectation about their future income baavila varumanate kurichulla expectation il vyaktigal maatram undaakade consumer spending il rajyathu economy la consumer spending il oru maatram undagilla so the consumer spending will not change will not have any sort of positive impact effect until till the time 
the individuals reform their expectations that means individual reform that in future i'll be getting more in future i'll be getting less only if they change their expectation there will be an increasing increase or decrease in consumer spending this is what milton friedman put forward through his permanent income hypothesis i hope that all the points are clear you can clear your doubts through my, through the email id given or through the comment section thank you see in the next video please like share and subscribe my channel and videos thank you